with the viewers welcome back to my magical girlfriend so shadow blade so we're here when after shot attacked me on last part so let's see what's really is going on so let's just so let's start reading we hear soft crying as we exit the last alley and find a little comforting charlotte at the entrance Elipas has her arm around charlotte a sad expression on her face when charlotte catches the sight of me she jumps back looking as ashamed charlotte are you okay she nods furiously casting her eyes to the dried blood on my arm are you i wave a hand not kindly don't worry charlotte Elise healed me. Charlotte nod and Elise and Ellie we usher her down the street to my apartment. I turn behind them, my hand stuffed in my pocket, reviewing the day's event. What have I gotten myself into? In my living room, Ellie pieces Charlotte onto the sofa and then sit next to her, holding her hand. Charlotte turned for the at the ground, refusing to to lift her eyes. I try to comfort Charlotte, but Elise grabbed my arm, pulling me aside. I suspect that the spell was cast on Charlotte, but we need to give her time to recover. Whatever happened took a toll on her. I hand Charlotte a tea and I made. Charlotte accepted the tea hesitantly. Our fingers brushed lightly together as I, ha I had handed to her. I wait patiently and just sit in silence. Charlotte keeps casting a shame look at me. Charlotte? She looked up and her eyes dart away from me, her hands clutching the mug. Charlotte is okay. You didn't hurt me. I'm fine. I smile showing her that I'm not upset. She stared at me, my smile, and then she slid in my sleeve and suddenly she burst into tears. What? She's crying. Gently rest. I rest my hand on her knee gently and massage it. She slid the tears slowly. It's okay, Charlotte. I, I, I whisper softly. She shivers a little, her teary eyes on me. She moans and I feel a wave of her heat at the sound. That was sexy. Feel better? Ellie tightened her arm around her and produced a tissue for Charlotte to wipe her eyes and nose. Charlotte, it's really okay. No one is mad at you. It wasn't you, we know that. Charlotte, tell us what happened. The last thing I remember is searching the, the wood for the goblin. But that was earlier this morning. That doesn't mean you were in a trance all morning. Charlotte nods. Yeah, I was only seeing Gina there. And then I can't remember the rest. At least jump, jump and look alarmed. Gina, are you sure? Gina? Yes, I'm sure. Is that that the magical girl I saw after in LF when she had to run, run after the goblin? I remember seeing her in the woods and then the next thing I know, Blade is covered in blood. Her voice trembled and I take her hand. Elise is persistently lost in thought. Wait, who is Gina? She's one of my classmates, another magical girl. So she's, that's what she got in Bow Aura too. That means there are other magical girls here in the city. Yes, her, I did see her. Suddenly I remember the girl I saw today was in Saint Aura on our campus. Could it be? What is the blade? I saw a girl in a uniform like yours. I tell her everything I saw on campus. She had a rainbow aura too, but it was dark. I shivered remembering the cold eye in her eyes. That was Gina. I suspect that Gina cast a spell on Charlotte because, because he wanted to hurt you. Me? Elise nod. Yes. Charlotte's aura was different today. 
so I suppose that makes sense. But why would a, tra- a stranger want to hurt me? She doesn't even know me. I put my mouth as it is another question, but she turns away tapping her lip with a finger. Why did hating about Gina make Elise act so strangely? Elise seemed to be worthy of Gina, I wonder why. Elise wore an expression I can't quite read, but it's clear she's not upset about the presence of Gina. What should I do? I think I should let it go. She looks upset. Yeah, I think I should let it go. I don't want to pry in Elise's privacy. It's not right to pry in. So I just let it go. Let it go. Elise looks upset. I should probably leave it alone. I simply pat her awkwardly on the back. She looked up at me, her sad expression changing to one in slight amusement. But then she sighed, pressing her hands against her knees. I have work to do. Elise raises a look on determination and focus on her face. Elise, stay with Blade. I'll take Charlotte now. You, you, you to her hunt for the goblin more. I look anxiously at Charlotte. She's sitting in me detectedly. She hasn't risen yet. Elise is waiting pati- patiently by the door. I don't think Charlotte should go just yet. Charlotte. She sits silently refusing to move. It seems like she doesn't want to leave. Elise, I want I want to stay here for a while with Charlotte. Elise follow her brow and look between me and Charlotte. I eye her si- silently, telling her that I-, I need this, and so doesn't Charlotte. But as- with a sign, Elise wave ever towards her. Okay, Charlotte, you can rest here with Elip. Le- here, Elip, let's go get some food. The door closes softly behind them. And I turned to Charlotte. Why don't you lay down and then grab a, I'll grab a blanket. Charlotte, Charlotte sl- lay on the sofa and I cover her with a soft blanket. She struck beneath it and her face filled with dark purple bags under her eyes. How are you feeling? Okay, I guess. You feel better soon? I seem to possibly are making a fist and holding it with incredibly. She said nothing, her eyes watching anything but me. She looked terrible, she feels so bad. I wish there was something I could do to help. Shadow, what do you say? say? Uh, Shadow, what do you say? Say, uh, say the sushi be? Shadow looked at me from the corner of her eye, a simple suspicious look. What? Wasabi? She snorted a, sm- a small smile on her lip. That's the stupidest joke I ever heard. I bet this next one is worse. Oh no, no, another one. I open my mouth to say another joke. But she's come hand over my lips giggling. I typed up, but my voice is muffled. She burst into laughter and then instead of hers, hands tippling me, is her lip. My eyes widen in surprise as she kisses me. She pulls away, cheeks in pink. That's to say I'm sorry, Charlotte. I know you say you don't have to be sorry, but I hurt you. Her eyes turn up and I wipe them away, them away gently. Shh. Don't think about it. She bites her lip, looking at me through her long lashes. My heart pounds a little faster. I never thought I would feel this way. What way? Sad? No, no. Love? Is that love? She flashes even finger and calms her mouth shut. Cold. You never thought you would feel cold. 
She nods dubiously, and I guide her blanket. So look at me, it's better to be in pat the bed beside her. You want me to? Charlotte nods cheek pink. I gamble beside her and lay down. Before I know it, Charlotte has dragged herself over me. She's still on the top of the dragging the blanket over us. Charlotte. Shh! You're so loud! She giggles but closes, closes her eyes. Well, at least she's happy again. In seconds, she's not being softly completely relaxed. She's sleeping. I brush her hair away from her face and throw her head back. I bit my lip, trying to ignore the sexy sensation of Charlotte on my body. I clench my eyes. I close and hear this sound washing through me. She's even sexy when she's sleeping. Mm -hmm. I like you, Blade. Snore. You feel my body heat up from embarrassment. I leave and I am out looking for the garden again. I cover my eyes, looking at everyone out of carefully. Oh, there, Elite, that's the coffin. I point at the teenager boy wearing a dark hoodie, but he heard me. He sprints away, pushing rapidly through the crowd. He rushed past Elite and the wind blows her skirt up. She squealed and I catch a glimpse of her pink panties. <laughs> Seriously? Her panties? She kneels, covering herself. But the goblin is getting away. Don't worry, I didn't see your pink panties. How did you know? Pretend like nothing happened. Come on, we're losing him. Bye bye. Let's go. Lip blushes, but jump to her feet. Her hand holding down her skirt nervously. I take her hand, dragging her after the coffin. Her hand tenses, and then it lags and holds it lightly. The goblin must run into the alley. He turns and back into the mischievous screen. Stop. We sprint after him, but he's knocking over trash can and other objects to block our path. You won't get away. The goblin merely runs faster. Then, hey, I'll give you a red tail toad if you, if you stop. I jump over the trash and push over easily and keep running. Just then, I turn to see Ellie sprung on the ground. I stop stone between chasing the goblins and helping Ellie. I'm sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine. Ellie blushes between her lips. Let me take a look at that. She's got away nervously, but she wants in pain. It's okay. I speak calmly, so I'm listening to her. I just want to take a look. Her knees are scuffed and pretty badly. Drop of blood wheeling on her hunting. She needs disinfected blood. She shakes her head emphatically and slowly clamps her feet, biting her lip. I'm gonna run out of gems if I keep this up. She stuck up to her feet and I hope her back of my apartment. As if she's greedy on the sofa while I go get my first aid kit. She reaches her hand nervously and I dab her wound with disinfectant. It hurt. It hurts. I look at her sympathetically. If it hurts too much, you can hit me. at 
the movement plugs in with the wounds, it will feel better. Just be careful. She not staring down at her bandages all while I put my first aid kit away. All bandages up and disinfected. I leap head towards the door. I can tell she wants to run before her scrapping knees don't have much stage in your motion. Welcome. Said so she turned sideways, bringing her soft eyes to meet mine. Her ears turned pink and she ducked her head in a hasty bow. Thank you. Ah, you're welcome. But she's out of the door before I can finish. I stand locking it behind her. I hope she gets better soon. Collapsing onto the sofa, I agree to this event. I really don't know what I'm cutting myself into. This is getting crazy. I was just trying to help the girls and now someone is trying to kill me. What is Gina doing here and why would she be targeting me? To be continued. Okay guys, I want to know if the video will be in the next episode. But that's all for now. Hope you enjoy. So, shall we be the video? Goodbye.